guys, welcome back to Leo's Dreamland. Gratitude is my superpower by Alicia Ortego. Hi, my name is Betsy and this is Mr. T. I am only seven, but he is 70. You wouldn't know to look at him. He never seems to age. He slowly moves around the house and doesn't have a cage. One day when I was playing with him, I suddenly felt quite sad. What's the matter, mom said. You're usually so glad. It's Mr. T, I said to her. I think there's something wrong. To carry that big house all day, he has to be so strong. Do you think it stops him from having fun like me? I've never seen him run or jump as happy as can be. Oh, my dear, you mustn't worry. Mr. T is fine. Turtles have different needs in life. They're not like yours or mine. The nature of a turtle is harmless, quiet, and shy. They love to hide inside their shells when people pass them by. So Mr. T is very grateful for everything he's got, which means he doesn't worry about things he has not. Let's play a game together, Mom said. I call it gratitude. It'll help you understand Mr. T. Are you in the mood? Mom takes me to the garden and just behind the flowers, picks up a stone. She says, this has superpowers. Every time you're upset when things don't go as planned, Take out your gratitude stone and hold it in your hand. The stone will work its magic and soon you'll begin to see everything that happens is how it's meant to be. No sooner had we gone inside, the sky began to rain. Tears began to fill my eyes. I want to go out again. Remembering my special stone, I squeezed with all my might. What could I be grateful for when rain was in my sight? But just then I remembered without it plants won't grow, fish won't live in the sea, and rivers won't flow. Thank you Sky for raining. You're really rather clever. Now I know the job you do. You can rain whenever. Next morning when it's time to wake my body filled with dread, Going to school is the last thing I want. I would rather stay home instead. Beneath my pillow is my stone. I squeeze it once again, remembering the friends I'd see and my teacher, Mrs. Blaine. At school, I had forgotten today is sibling day. I don't have any siblings, so I didn't know what to say. Stone will have the answers. I thought I'd squeeze it and we'll see. Of course, I said, I'm grateful because I have Mr. T. At dinner time, it worked again when my mom put down my plate. No yummy cake, but rice and veg, which I didn't appreciate. But then I remember the children who aren't as lucky as me to have a healthy, warm meal cooked by their mummies. At bedtime, when I'm not tired, and want to play instead, I'm grateful for my turtle PJs and warm and cozy bed. But just then I remember, I'm not even carrying the stone. Mom, I shout, I did gratitude and did it on my own. Of course you did, my darling, because gratitude is in there. Upon my heart, she placed her hand with the other, she stroked my hair. So gratitude's in all of us, I said, and all we have to do is stop and think how thankful we are instead of feeling blue. Next day during playtime, there is a new boy there with shiny braces on his teeth 
and curly light brown hair. Tears are falling down his face. He wished he had not moved. A decision made by his parents and he had not approved. I tell him of the gratitude stone and ask if we can find something to be thankful for that he can bear in mind. He holds the stone and thinks a minute, a smile across his face. I am thankful for our new home. The garden has so much space. Mom, I am grateful to have Betty and my husband Bob. Now every time I go out, I make sure to have with me at least one stone to pass on along with my story. Dad, I am grateful to have a family, a house, and my job. Betty, I am grateful to have a lovely teacher and a Barbie doll. Mr. T, I am grateful to live with Betty instead of at the zoo. Alicia Ortego, I am grateful for my little readers and their parents too. The more we share with gratitude, the happier we will be. Will you share this story and help other kids like me? Leo, I am grateful to have football boots and a soccer ball. I am grateful for you guys, my family and friends. The end.